In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the trend in first ionization energies as we go across four of the periods of the periodic table. So I have period one here, which I've labeled and separated with this red line, and period two and period three and period four. And looking at these graphs, these bar charts, this bar chart, we can see that there's a general increase as we go across the period in the periodic table. And there's a general increase here, there's a general increase here, and there's a general increase here, even though we don't really have all of the periodic table here for, yeah. Now, you might notice that there's a couple of dips. So there's a dip here and here and um, here and here. This is to do with the stability relating to um, partially filled uh, subshells. But I'm not going to go into that since like at AS level, really, we don't need to go into that. But yeah, looking at this trend of general increase, uh, let's actually take a look at the reasons behind this general increase. And I have made a video about um, the factors which affect ionization energy. I'd recommend you go and watch that video. Um, I explain it quite, quite, quite. I go, I go, I go into quite a bit of detail in that video. In this video, I'm just going to go over a brief summary. So I recommend you you, you 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 watch the video on factors affecting ionization energy. So we can see that there's a general increase here. In this video, I'm just going to summarize it. General increase. And the reasons behind this general increase. Um, first of all, if we go back to go back to the, the periodic table we have here. What we notice is that as we go along, the number of electrons increase increases. And if we're going on the same period along, the number of outer shells do, does not increase. I mean, the number of shells do, do, does not increase. And because of this, all of the electrons that are adding are being added on, added on as we go along each period, they're all being added onto the same shell. And because of this, shielding more or less remains the same. So from, and this is exclusive to within a period. So when you go from helium to lithium, shielding does not stay the same. He, he, shielding um, drop, so shielding increases. And I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit, but first of all, let's focus on between a specific period, in within a specific, specific, specific period. So shielding with um, increases, the, the reasons for increase. So let me just, you know, yeah and this is across a period general increase and the reasons are first of all the nuclear charge increases increases and I will talk about the shielding but yeah nuclear charge increases this means that as we go along the period the actual charge that the nucleus have increases. So lithium, the nucleus is going to be three plus, beryllium is going to be four plus, and that's going to carry on five plus, six plus, seven plus, and that's going to increase. And so the outer electrons are going to be more strongly attracted to the nucleus. And the reason behind this, the reason why it's not, um, this, this, this attract, attraction isn't resisted by the, the, the other electrons. It is really resisted, but not significantly enough such that it doesn't, uh, increase the attraction and, and cause the, the ionization energy to increase. But what happens is the um, the electrons are added onto the same shell and so the shielding doesn't increase. Shielding doesn't increase. Increase. So because the nuclear charge increases and shielding doesn't increase, what happens is the nuclear radius. Therefore, because these these three these two points lead up to this final point. Therefore, the nuclear radius um, decreases, and so the, the outermost electron, because of all these three points now, and therefore, wait, let me change color actually. Therefore, outermost 
electrons more strongly attracted to the nucleus. I'm just summarizing it here. Now, if we actually look at now this trend, rather than looking at the trend just in within one period, let's look at the trend as we go from, um, look at the green lines basically. When we look at the green lines, and I'm going to draw a green arrow to represent this trend, we have a general decrease. So in contrast to those red lines, we have a general decrease. And now let's look at the reasons behind this general decrease as we go along to different to, to different um, periods. So now let's look at the reason for the... I don't really want to go to the bottom too much, but yeah, yeah, I guess there's space here. So you can still sort of see the period the periodic trend general decrease general decrease in um, first ionization energy and the reasons behind the general decrease in first ionization energy first of all is that um, the outermost electron is on a different shell as there's a there's a there's a there's a more there's more shells in in the uh, as you go along there's more shells so the number of shells increases and remember if there's more shells there's going to be more in, in um inner electron shielding so they're going to be pushing the outer electrons away a little bit more they're going to be resisting the 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 effect that the, the nuclear charge will have on the outer electrons. So number of shells increases and the number of the increase in the number of shells causes causes the number of the, the, the shielding to increase. Therefore let me let me fix my pen. Okay yeah it's fixed now. Okay so therefore the shielding increases. Now, I know the shielding increases and the first ionization energy decreases, but regardless of that, even though that happens, like the the the, the nuclear charge is still going to increase because we're going from having a proton number of three to a proton number of eleven to nineteen. The, the, the number of protons are increasing still. I I mean, actually, I know this is for the other end, but still same principle. The number as we go down different period to different periods the number of uh the, the number of protons is going to increase so the nuclear charge increases so this is another point the nuclear charge increases yeah there we go purple i guess that's fine nuclear charge increases now because of the fact that the nuclear charge increases you might think that uh, maybe this ionization energy should really be much closer, but the fact is, the increase in shielding is more significant than the increase in um, nuclear charge. So the, the increase in shielding outweighs, we can say that it outweighs the increase in nuclear charge, but increase in shielding, increase in shielding, outweighs increase in nuclear charge so that's the reason why uh, even though the nuclear charge increases the the general trend is still that the overall first ionization energy is going to decrease when you go between uh, different periods, as you go down down the periods, so like that, or down the group, so to speak, down the group. So yeah, that's 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 basically the the different things which can affect ionization energy and the reason behind this trend, which you can see in this graph. And I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video.